This tutorial gives an overview of the Spoke Creator workspace. There are three main panels. The one on the top right here is the parametric node network panel. Underneath it we have the 3D panel. And on the left hand side there's the parameter panel. The model of the shelves that we can see in the 3D view is defined by the parametric network which has been set up in this panel at the top. And each of these orange nodes in this, uh, in this parametric network corresponds to a parameter which you can find over in the parameter window here. And you can see as I change these parameters, the model updates to reflect that, that change. So for instance here I'm changing the number of shelves or I can change the height and various other attributes of the model. Looking again at the parametric network, we can see that it consists of dots which have been joined together. And these dots are referred to as atoms. And information flows through the atoms, in this case from left to right. And different types of atoms perform different functions and there are different classes of functions that they perform. So for instance, the white atoms are geometry atoms which either produce or manipulate geometry in some kind of way. The grey atoms are either, uh, represent either values such as numbers, could be strings or boolean values or they represent mathematical expressions. So for instance we've got a division atom here. These orange atoms are actually value atoms which have been turned sticky. So I can take that stickiness off that radius um, atom there and you can see it's now disappeared from the list in the parameter window. So the fact that they're orange means that they've been turned sticky and appear in the parameter window. So the parametric network in its entirety defines the model which can be seen in the 3D view. The geometry that I can see down there is visible because the output node is selected and the geometry which is output from each node that's connected to that um, goes into being part of the um, part of the model. So if for instance I select the this node up here we can see that that's actually outputting the shelves and these two nodes down here are each outputting a pair of columns and if I select any geometry node I'm only going to see the geometry which is being output by that individual node. If I select the background the output node will automatically be selected. 